On November 30th, 2010, a young man began a journey that would change his life forever. When the real Julie Powell commented on the blog within one hour of the first posting, Lawrence knew he was on to something. And when news of Lawrence's quest spread across the internet on day nine, his fate was sealed. So the days went by and Lawrence upheld his pledge. 123 minutes of Julie and Julia every 24 hours. The world was changing around him. But Julie and Julia remain the same. To enhance his viewings, Lawrence tried watching with his eyes closed. He watched it with a mask on. He switched from Netflix streaming to DVD, from computer to television to iPhone and back again. A top advertising agency in San Francisco heard of Lawrence's blog and offered him a summer internship. He got to develop catchphrases, meet celebrity athletes, and explore the culinary wonders of the Bay Area. But all the while, every day he kept watching Julie and Julia. He watched it on a plane, in a vineyard, at a music festival, at work, on the Golden Gate Bridge, and at Alcatraz. He documented all of Julia Child's outfits, all the hands, all the cigarettes, and every 212th word in the movie. He even cooked sometimes. Lawrence has analyzed every inch of the movie, and in coming to know Julie and Julia has come to know himself. Every day was a challenge. Lawrence threatened to kill himself, but he couldn't let his readers down. On November 28th, 2011, Lawrence flew to Denver. He was greeted by his fan club. He met the media, he ate some French food, and now he is here. November 29th, 2011. 364 days have passed. 746 hours of nothing but Nora Ephron's culinary drama slash romantic comedy. Lawrence is ready to declare mission accomplished. He is ready to watch any other movie as long as it doesn't have Amy Adams in it. He is ready to be free of a burden that no man should ever have to carry. 123 minutes of Julie and Julia are all that stand between Lawrence and history. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Lawrence Die. Let's get ready to 